Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, I'm Rebecca. We're not from Memphis, but we love it. Welcome to Memphis Type History, the podcast. Well, hello, Caitlin. Hi, Rebecca. We're here at this episode. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So uh, we are both, we're about a year in to this show. And Mm -hmm. we're really struggling to keep up with it because life has gotten really crazy for both of us. Yeah. It seems all of a sudden. We also, when we set out to do this, we said we would do it for a year. And if we didn't really have the sponsorship or the Patreon supporters to continue, we would stop. But we don't really want to stop. So (laughs) we're going to try another. We're going to try. We have a we're going to try doing this a different way. We're going to go on hiatus and we're going to try to do this a different way. So there's the spoiler alert. Yes, the hiatus. Now we're going to talk about how we're going to do it. Yeah. I will say we are at, I think, 50 episodes. So I I feel pretty good about it. I've learned a lot about Memphis, uh, which is part of the reason why I'm still up for sticking with this, learning about unusual things in Memphis and people. And the stories that they want to tell. And so this episode is basically a call out. Not only is this episode to talk about us going on a break and what to expect, but I think it's also going to be a a shout out for people to engage more and give us info. Because this is, we are, uh, this is a side thing for us. This is a a passion project. It's it's not our full-time gig. Yeah, we don't really want to stop doing it. We both, I really like that it keeps me connected to Memphis, even though I live in Shanghai. I'm learning more than I even learned working on the book. And we're getting more, we are, we are getting more stories and more things than we did when we were getting, when we were working on the book. We are. And, and the part of that and getting that is I feel guilty that I can't respond as quickly as I would like to for those people that have uh, reached out to us. And so part of this is getting to kind of go back and uh, collect everything that we've been given also. yeah. Um, And then so if you're listening and you are someone who sent us information or a story or an idea, we may come and (laughs) respond to you. You still might hear from us. Yeah, (laughs) you may hear from us. Yeah. We have a um, lot of to go back and collecting to do. We, when we started this, we were actually, rec- we were, we had recorded pretty far in advance because mm-hmm. this is a side thing. We both have full-time jobs and uh, now both of us have kids and busy weekends and just things going on that have changed a lot of like how we're going about doing this side project. And so when we started this podcast, we were actually, we had recorded pretty far in advance, several months in advance. So we had a lot of wiggle room in terms of someone goes on vacation or needs some time or work gets busy or whatever, whatever. And in the last, I'd say, six months, five, six months, we're Mm -hmm. not as far ahead in recording. We're not as far ahead in getting the promotional, you know, the like social media posts out there and like letting all of you know about the episode, actually getting the episode out. We're just not as far ahead anymore because life happened. And because it is a side project, it's just gotten very hard to keep up with in a good way. Yeah. And we also agreed that in a year's time, we would reassess how things were because we just don't have unlimited funds to do this. And it does cost money to do a podcast. And so, yeah. And so this is us assessing. We've been talking for probably a couple months on what I guess a season two type situation or a coming back Mm -hmm. would look like. We don't, we never intended to do seasons per se, but we are going to go on hiatus. And when we come back, the podcast is going to look a little different. And still record and still research. So we're, we're going to go on hiatus in terms of the podcast coming out because we need to get ahead again for us to be able to do this um, physically, mentally, time-wise, all of it for us to be able to do this. So we're going on hiatus in terms of the podcast not landing in your iTunes or your whatever podcatcher you use, but we're going to be still be recording. Mm-hmm. So we're taking a break from publishing and we're going to step back and we're going to record more episodes. So if you have stories or suggestions, you can still send them our way. 
I and mean, we hope to be going back and collecting some of the old stuff that's been sent to us as well and act on it. And so, yeah, we're going to be recording. And then when we come back, the podcast is going to be a little bit different. It'll still be about Memphis. Yes. Yes. It'll still be about history. <laughs> but we're going to keep it yeah. random, I think, because that's what I like best is um, the un- unexpected. Kaylin, what was one, what was your favorite episode? That we've done? Or one of your favorite. Yeah. Man, I really liked that All Ladies Radio. I think it was like episode two. One. Intro. Oh, yeah, two. Yeah. Because the intro was the first one. I, yeah, I W-H-E-R. really liked that one. And then I liked the ladies' night shows that we did. Those were fun. Uh-huh. Those were nice. Evelyn Estes. <laughs> That's right. Evelyn! <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and say what our um, – just a little look back – on what we've done, I thought would be fun now Now that we're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, our top four episodes are Voodoo, as you can imagine. Oh, what was the yeah. name of that one? The Voodoo, Voodoo Village. The Truth Behind Voodoo Village. The Truth Behind Voodoo Village. I did love that number episode. number one. That's been number one. I That one was really fun to work on. Uh, the second one that I've noticed has been on the top in second place, if I'm recalling correctly, is Ghost in Memphis. <laughs> so people <laughs> yes. like the mysterious stuff. So we will maybe look into that some more, look into some mysteriousness in Memphis. Yeah, we have some plans. <laughs> Since that's what the people want. And then uh, Graffiti 101 with uh, Nosy 42 or Brandon Marshall. That was a nice. fun one. I really enjoyed that. I really liked listening and to you guys talk. And I learned a lot about graffiti. Yeah, I learned uh, quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, I even to this day still think about uh, participating in graffiti because of that. I just don't have time for it, which is why we're taking a hiatus (laughs) as well. Uh, Not so that I can do graffiti, but it's just an indication that we do need a break. Yeah. And then two other big ones that we've gotten a lot of listeners for are uh, Beer Drinking Goats. Oh, yes. At Sokio Sullivan's. And uh, People Like Streets and Storyboard. Michael Fleischer did a <laughs> interview with you. Yeah. And people have been really into that. So, oh, man. You guys love streets. Yeah. Even our blog like posts, streets. like the top blog posts are the street history ones. It's great. It's so <laughs> funny. We should do some more street episodes, I guess. Uh, I was surprised by the response of, personally, I was surprised by the response of TGI Friday's I thought for sure people were going to think that was ridiculous because it's a people are really snooty about chain restaurants. And I thought like, oh, people are going to think this is ridiculous and wonder like, what does this have to do with Memphis? But the TGI TGI, uh, Fridays in Memphis was (laughs) a really big deal. Yeah. And even your mom could attest to that. Um, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I was pleasantly surprised by that one. Yeah. And I do want to say, I do want to say thank you to our, our supporters, whether that's been at Patreon, which has been a huge help. Even, you know, the people that have been giving a dollar a month, it, it adds up and it's been really helpful. Uh, and then also just listening, like we're getting people downloading these episodes and that, that keeps us going. So thank yeah. you. And the comments, like when we get here back, like, oh, I listen to the show, this or that. I mean, it it really means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. People have a shared interest in this stuff and that makes us, uh, that warms our hearts. Yeah. So we're going to keep at it. We're going to, we're going to keep at it. It'd be really sad to let it go. So I guess, well, wait, I didn't ask you. What were your favorite mm-hmm. episodes? I did have, oh, Oh, yeah. You know, I really had fun with the mansions one when you talked about Prince Mongo's place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was pretty, Ash- Ashler Hall. That was a pretty big deal. Yeah, I love that one. And then I also liked learning about malls. Oh, and, yeah, the malls. Uh, that was kind of fun. That was a good one. Yeah, and yeah, and making some trailers for that one. That was fun. That was um, great. I want to do more stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Some fun trailers and yeah. Yeah, those are a couple of my fa- favorites. And then the the ones that everyone that I mentioned in the top episodes, those ones were really good. 
I've learned a lot, Caitlin. Yeah. Now, I don't know if somebody asked me a question if I would be able to answer. (laughs) But in the (laughs) moments. Same. Like, I have to go back and listen to that again. (laughs) Yeah. I love Let's just uh, verify once again, which we've done in several episodes. We are not historians. We just happen to like stories and history. And we're just very interested in it. <laughs> so, and we share what we learn, but then yeah. we don't necessarily retain yes. that information, which is why we're recording yeah. it, because then it's <laughs> documented and people can uh, listen to it and refer to it later. So I guess speaking of that, mm-hmm. while we're gone, if you have missed any episodes, now's your chance to go back and catch yes, up. Yes, this would be a perfect time to do that. I think also we want to get ahead. We want to keep the show going as it is, but we also have an idea for another project yes. to work on a big, big project. And I don't think we're going to go into a lot of detail Not about yet, it. Because it is going to take a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to um, take a long time. Um, and maybe once we get started on it, we can yeah. share some more. We'll give some sneak peeks. Yeah, we'll something. share some oh, visuals. Maybe that's what we give to Patreon. Yes, but, yes, there'll be yeah. some some works in progress. Yeah, that we will share. Yeah, uh, and then you'll get an idea. We can take our Patreon people along yeah. for the ride. Speaking of that, one way where the podcast will be a little different when we come back off of hiatus is that uh, as of now, our plan is. We will be releasing two episodes a month, as usual now, on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts. I use Podcast Addict. All of those two episodes a month, so every other week. The other two episodes that we, right now, we release for a month for free on iTunes and et cetera. The other two episodes are going to be on Patreon only. So... If you want only free ones, you can get two a month for free. Happy to provide those to you. If you want four episodes a month plus extra type of content, like what our big project is that we're working on and some other stuff that we hope to have the capacity to be sharing and doing on Patreon, that will be where you can get two other episodes a month plus all the other stuff. So we're going to be changing the structure of our Patreon a little bit. It'll be one, you know, support price to get all that stuff. So right now we're thinking five bucks to get the other two episodes a month and all the other stuff. And then there'll be another level where you can get some merch and stuff like that as well, if you want some merch. But yeah, that's kind of what we're thinking at the moment, to spill the beans on that. So if you want all the episodes like you're used to getting now, maybe start putting five bucks away in your Mm -hmm. piggy bank. I hope that people have a physical piggy bank to do that. Yeah. Or go ahead and start giving it to us now on Patreon because that will certainly help (laughs) for when we come back from hiatus to have some funds. Because we really appreciate there are several people who support us on Patreon and that really has made a huge Mm -hmm. difference this year. So that's kind of the direction. There are a few podcasts that I listen to where they do a lot of extra stuff on Patreon and they release more episodes this way. So if you want all the episodes that they do, you, you get some for free and then you get the other half. On Patreon, and I have bought into that experience and really like it, and it's a great way. It feels like a win-win to give them my $5, and I get a lot of great stuff in return. And so we're hoping that you guys will feel like that's a win-win as well, and hopefully that will help us keep going with this. Yay! Yay! (laughs) I think, just like you said, I think this is a good time for people to catch up on the episodes they missed. You could also do some reading, maybe perhaps with a book called Memphis Type History, Signs and, from, wait, Signs and Stories. <laughs> I don't know the name of our book. <laughs> we yeah. won't come back from hiatus until Rebecca knows the name of the book. <laughs> I've gotten this cuff. name, but I've gotten our name wrong so much. Signs and Stories from <laughs> Just Around the Corner. Yeah. Yes. It's available on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Also available locally at Burke's Books, Novel. Five and One Social Club and Stock and Bell. Yeah. Do some catch up reading with that. And uh, you know what? We'll sign it for you too. Oh, you awesome. can also buy a signed copy off of our website. Yes. Um, I forget about our own little website. Yeah. MemphisTypeHistory.com. They, it's signed copies over there if you want signed copies. 
Yeah. And yeah. You can also, if you are interested in any of our blog topics that we've written on our on our website, uh, leave a comment for us. Uh, we do get notifications when that happens, and um, we'll know which topics people are interested in learning about. Yeah, more. that would also be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm really I'm really feeling good, and I'm looking forward to the next iteration of Memphis Type History, the podcast. I already yeah. like, we have a list of ideas of what we want to cover. We have some ideas on how to make this more manageable for us after a year of practice. And hopefully you guys want us to come back. I guess let us know. Yeah. Let us know <laughs> if you want us to come back, let us know if you want to join the team just to help us out. That would be awesome to you. Yes. We could use some help. Yes. If you love <laughs> Memphis history and researching things, yeah. <laughs> and talking to people. And talking to we people. We could use your help. Yeah. Yeah. When I talk to people, it gets awkward. So it'd probably be nice to have somebody who knows social skills. How, well, how did I even get into a podcast? This is not me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a communicator. How did this happen? I yanked you in. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, All right. anything else to, to add? We'll see you guys soon. And we'll still be on the social media and all that. So, oh, yeah. Talk to us there. Keep following us on social media. We're still around and we're still recording. So, yeah, we're still recording. So, now's your chance. If you want to get our attention and make a show happen, this is probably your best moment right now. Ta da. All right. Well, let's go ahead and sign off. See you guys soon. Yeah. Uh, This is Memphis Type History Podcast. We like to type. You've been listening to Memphis Type History, the podcast. It would mean so much to us if you head over to iTunes and give us a rating and review. Be sure to subscribe and never miss an episode. Want to be part of Memphis Type History and get behind the scenes content, merch, and more? Support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Memphis Type History. That's Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Memphis Type History. Find more Memphis Type History on our blog at memphistypehistory.com, on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest as Memphis Type History, and on Twitter at Memphis Type. 